I grew up on a farm, a really small town. A lot of times what you know and what you see around you, you think that's all that there is. Books are windows to the world. And my job is to introduce the world to the students. I live about 20 minutes away. So on my way to school, sometimes there's Amish buggies. Sometimes it's a school bus. Sometimes it's a deer. Welcome to Milton, Pennsylvania. <laughs> the books are really cool to read, and I love them. I like to come to Mr. Killian's library because we use robots and like tablets and stuff. You get to read books. In order to prepare our students for their futures, they need to be involved in using technology. Libraries offer knowledge. Knowledge is power. The Milton Area School District is delaying the start of school by three weeks. First days of class delayed because of mold, 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 mold. air quality concerns. Air quality issues. Heavy rains we've experienced are being blamed. People came into their classrooms and into their buildings emptied. If anything is mold infected, it needs to be removed. To see 30-yard trailers being discarded, that was catastrophic. The library lost thousands and thousands of books. We stood back and said, oh my gosh, how are we going to replenish everything that's gone? Carrie rose up. And she said, what am I going to do to help fill these shelves up again? I, I had no idea how much was lost. The hardest part for me was just being strong for the students. I miss the books that were in the library. We've lost a lot of books, and a couple of them we lost were my favorites. Mrs. Kelly, my favorite book's not here. And I said, you know what, just please write that down for me, because there's going to be opportunities for us to get new books and I'm gonna to need to know what they are. These are the books that I really want back in the library. I really want these books I in really the library. I really wish we had these books back in the, the books library. I want. These books are Bad Kitty, Piggy, and the Jersey Elf, Jones, and Owl Diaries, and Fancy Nails. 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 Every library class, I have students saying, hey, did you get that book that I asked for yet? I said, I'm working on it. <laughs> this community has stood together in the face of fires and floods. We are survivalists as educators. We're figuring it out because we're so creative with resources to restore what was lost. I feel like we're a phoenix rising out of the ashes. Though you didn't really have ashes to see, we had mold. The students are fantastic. When I try something new, I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Do you guys want to be the first ones to try it out? Their eyes just always light up. Yeah, we'll be that first class. A librarian is so much more than just keeper of the books. This is a space Very that we can offer learning activities for every child in the school. How many different types of species has Yellowstone Park found? Students have access to more than just what's in their classroom or more than just what's in their home. They're going to try something brand new and branch out and find a new passion. Start to learn and understand different cultures, different ways of life. Think about things in a different way because I want them to be global collaborators and I want them to be connected learners. What do my students need to learn for life? Please join me in welcoming Carrie Killian. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have a surprise for Carrie. She doesn't know this. While you're here, Microsoft employees are going to be trucking new books to your, to your libraries. To bring, uh, oh, thank you. 